User Interface, Zooming and Navigation Tools. Zooming and navigating is very similar, but navigating I would consider sort of like orbiting the model or spinning it around, looking at it from different angles, whereas zooming is just zooming in, zooming out, panning, and those types of functions. So number one, you're going to be using your mouse. And if you don't have a mouse with a wheel in the middle, then you're going to have to get one because that's really the main tool for zooming and panning. So what I can do is move my cursor to where I want to look. I want to look there at the T-Rex head. Now if I just roll my mouse forward, you see what's happening? It's zooming in. And then if I just roll it backwards, it zooms out. But not only is it zooming in, it's zooming in on a specific object or a specific part of the screen. I'll just zoom out again. So I'm just rolling back. If you press down on the roller wheel, the roller wheel is actually a button as well. And this can take a little bit of getting used to. Sometimes we have a tendency to push it and turn it at the same time. But if you just press it, that's pan. So that just moves your view from side to side or top to bottom. And you can zoom and pan as much as you like. It's really not going to hurt the model in any way. Now for this zooming and panning, there's also some keyboard shortcuts. And one of them is ZZ. And you see what that does? It has a little magnifying glass all of a sudden. So now what I could do is click and hold my left mouse button and then let go. Now I'm right up on the key area here. And if I want to zoom previous, I can just type in ZP, which is zoom previous. You don't hit enter after you do any of these keyboard shortcuts. We'll talk about what enter does in a little while. So ZE, very valuable. That's zoom extents. ZZ. Zoom window, it's just a click, drag, let go, zoom extents again, and you're back. That's a typical way that you would be navigating. Okay, let's have some more fun. Let's go to a 3D view. To access the default 3D view, we can click on this little doghouse up here in the very top of the screen in the quick access toolbar, and that'll take you to the default 3D view. It's an isometric view. You can zoom in, so you can roll in, roll out. You can press down on that middle mouse button. That'll pan you around a little bit. So you can see that the zooming works in 3D as well. Now, this right here is called the View Cube. And this is a lot of fun because you can click on it. So I'll just click. And I'm not clicking and dragging. I'm just clicking on, let's say, right. And now I'm looking at it in the right elevation. And I'll go click on the corner. Now I'm looking at it from the corner. The other corner. The bottom corner. You can click on it, hold, and drag it as well. I find that a little choppy, but you can do that. You can also click things like the south elevation, or you can just turn the whole thing like on a turntable if you just click and hold this piece of the view cube. If you go to the top, you'll notice that there's these arrows here. Click them. In fact, in this course, feel free to click stuff. There'll always be a file ready for you at the start of a chapter. So if you make mistakes, that's good. We can learn. There's also this button right here, which is the home button. And that'll take you to the actual home orientation that you started out with. This right here is called the navigation wheel. And then you also have some zoom tools here as well. I don't typically use this. This is a little sort of zooming navigation bar. If I just close it, I'll show you how to get that open again. Just go to view, user interface, and then there's the navigation bar. Okay, and then you have these various versions of what's called steering wheels. And you can do some interesting things with these. We're going to get into these later as we work inside our model and outside and tweak our views a little bit for renderings and things like that. So if you want to give it a try now, that's fine. I'll tell you that you just hover over the area until it lights up. You don't click yet. And then when you finally click, you just click and hold, and then you can orbit or you can go up and down. So that's directly vertically up and down. You can walk. This will make a lot more sense when we actually start getting into a camera view. Okay, to get rid of this thing, just click on that little X in the corner of it and then it'll go away. So those are some basics just to get you started on zooming and navigating. One last thing before we're done, hold down your shift key and then hold down the middle mouse button, which is the roller wheel as well. And now you've got the shift down, you've got the roller wheel down, now move your mouse around, orbit. So that's a lot of fun. You can even zoom in to something of interest, click on it, hold down the shift, 
hold down the middle, and then you can orbit that around.